Hey there! In this video, we are going to run this small local project in the cloud using VS Code's local port forwarding feature. What it does is basically forwarding the local port to the Azure cloud system using Microsoft Dev Tunnels and creates an URL that can be either private or publicly accessible. By running your local development project in the cloud, you can share work in progress with colleagues or clients. Bear in mind that this approach must be used only for development and testing and not for production. One quick mention before we jump right in. You need to have a GitHub account because it's required by the dev tunnels and Azure APIs. All right, let's get started. To be able to forward the port and run the project in the cloud, first we must start up a local server. I'm going to use npx serve as it's fast and easy. Then I'm going to access the localhost link here and as you can see the project is up and running. Next up we have to forward the port of our local server. To go to the ports tab you can click this button right here or press down control and tilde and then go to the ports tab. Then click the forward the port button and if you are not logged in into your GitHub account, you will be prompted to sign in. And once you are signed in, you need to specify the port on which your server is running. And in my case, uh, it's the default 3000. And once it's done, you can notice the URL that has been created for you and click the globe to open the link and awesome as you can see the project is up and running and here is the url any change that you make in your code base will be reflected in the cloud in real time here i change the title to stopwatch test i'm going to save the code and then click refresh and as you can see, the title has changed in real time. This URL's visibility is private by default. So when you access the URL, you'll be asked to authenticate with your GitHub account to access the URL. To make it publicly available on the internet, right click and then change the visibility to public. To stop the port forwarding, just delete the entry. Alright, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, stick around as I'll be creating more tutorials on VS Code. Wishing you a wonderful day and I look forward to catching you in the next one.